in the previous lecture I explained working of full wave bridge rectifier now I will explain how center tab rectifier works this is the circuit of center tab rectifier and the first thing that we have to understand is the name why we call it center tab rectifier you can see on the secondary side of the transformer we have tapping and this tapping is in the center for example if we have 100 turns then 50 turns will be there on this side and 50 turns will be there on this side because of this we call it center tab rectifier there are two diodes and one resistance in this circuit let's say this diode is D1 this diode is D2 and this resistance is load resistance and we have to measure the voltage the output voltage across this resistance this is the primary side of the transformer and this is the secondary side 1 is to 2 is the turns ratio for this transformer and we already know NP by NS NP by NS is equal to VP by VS where NP is the number of turns on the primary side NS is the number of turns on the secondary side VP is the voltage on the primary side and VS is the voltage on the secondary side we have NP by NS 1 is to 2 VP let's say is VI the input voltage and we have to calculate VS voltage on the secondary side so let's calculate it 1 by 2 is equal to VP by VS so VS is equal to twice of VI because VP is equal to VI so on this side we have twice of VI and because of the center tapping we have VI here and VI here this is what we have because of the center tapping I will analyze this circuit for positive half cycle I will analyze it for the positive half cycle from 0 to pi this is omega t 0 to pi this is the positive half cycle let's say the maximum or peak voltage is equal to Vm and we have plus minus in case of positive half cycle this will be the polarity so here we have plus minus plus minus diode D1 will be forward biased because direction of arrow is similar to the direction of current this is the positive terminal so direction of current will be like this so diode D1 is forward biased diode D2 is reverse biased because direction of current will be like this from positive terminal to negative terminal and the arrow is not matching with the direction of current so D2 is reverse biased I am considering both the diodes to be ideal so I will replace D1 with short circuit like this and I will replace D2 with open circuit because it is reverse biased and after this we can easily calculate VO for the positive half cycle I will use Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop we have plus of VI plus of VI minus of minus of VO equal to 0 so VO the output voltage is simply equal to VI the direction of current is very important it is from right to left now I will analyze this circuit for negative half cycle for negative half cycle from pi to 2 pi this is the negative half cycle we have already analyzed it for the positive half cycle in case of negative half cycle this will be the polarity minus plus VI so here we have minus plus minus plus diode D1 is reverse biased diode D1 is reverse biased because direction of current is anti-clockwise and it is not matching with the direction of arrow diode D2 is forward biased and I will replace them with their equivalent models in place of diode D1 we have open circuit and in place of diode D2 we have short circuit because it is forward biased again we will do the same thing we will try to obtain the output voltage VO load resistance is R I will use the Kirchhoff's voltage law and we will move in the direction of current plus of VI plus of VI minus of VO minus of VO equal to 0 so VO the output voltage is equal to VI in this case also in case of half wave rectifier we had output voltage equal to 0 for the negative half cycle and in this case we have output voltage equal to VI and the direction of current is from right to left from right to left 
I will plot the final waveform I will plot the final waveform for one time period this is VO the output voltage pi 2 pi and this is 0 for the positive half cycle we have output voltage equal to VI so we have waveform like this identical to the input voltage and uh, for negative half cycle you can see the output voltage is uh, still equal to VI and the direction of current if you see is similar to this case in this case current is flowing from right to left and in this case also current is flowing from right to left so the polarity of the output voltage will remain same in both the cases and we have identical waveform for the negative half cycle also so this is the output for the full wave center tab rectifier and it is similar to the full wave bridge rectifier this is all you should know about the full wave center tab rectifier the important thing is the turns ratio the turns ratio is 1 is to 2 from the next lecture we will derive different parameters of full wave rectifiers if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one